video we are going to see regarding lichens what are lichens the study of lichens we call it as lichenology so it is lichenology the lichens are nothing but composite uh, thalloid structure you consists of algae as well as fungi which is a close symbiotic association algae we call it as phycobiont fungi we call it as mycobiont so lichens are nothing but a distinct group of plants having two components which is phycobiont as well as mycobiont algal component of lichens synthesize the carbohydrates by photosynthesis and the spicobiont will provide carbohydrates to the mycobiont because nutrition it provides nutrition to the fungi whereas fungal component will provide absorption of new absorption and water retention hence uh, lichens we call it as the symbiotic association the master and slave hypothesis you can see the master as well as slave hypothesis so in a, in association with husband and wife relationship it also called uh, helotism which is uh, most accepted association of nowadays in this association you can see the fungal uh, component shows predominance over algal component later it is the subordinate partner so so that's why we call it as helotism because master and slave because the fungal will form the master and the slave part is taken over by algae so lichens is perennials you can find the throughout the so throughout the year you can see the lichens and throughout the many years it will grow for many years slow growing and long lived and lichens are cosmopolitan lichens you can see even in areas which appear unsuitable for normal plants like uh, bare hard rocks and uh, cold arctic region lichens are more sensitive to air pollution and uh, sulfur dioxide pollution especially more uh, to air and sulfur dioxide pollution air pollution and so2 pollution you can see lichens most common in eastern himalayas and when compared to western himalayan lichens are absent in plains actually you can't find in uh, plains so so, li so lichens are been uh, classified based on their thallus so based on fungal component based on fungal component we have uh, asco lichen so which is fungal partner is ascomycetes so and algal partner is mostly the member of green algae rarely blue green algae rarely blue green algae will be there and most of the lichens are asco lichens most are because of uh, ascomycetes and basidio lichens we have uh, basidio lichens so which you can see the algal partner is always the member will be mixophysia most uh, mixophysia which is bga the algal component will be blue green algae here so basidio lichen for example cora 
pavonia so 80% of the cases the lichal algal partner will be green algae 80% here so which is chlorophycia in 20% of the cases only it is blue green algae this is 20% lichens so 80% will be ascomycetes this is 80% and 20% will be of uh, blue green algae sorry 20% will be of basidiomycetes 20% basidiomycetes and again the lichens are classified based on types of thalli so there are three types of lichens one is uh, crustos lichens and second one is uh, second one is polios lichens and third one is pruticos Pruticose lichens, okay. So crustose lichens is rhizocarpon, graphis, lichanora, and folios is parmelia. peltiger cora fruticos uh, lichens are erect and cladonia which usually hang on substratum if it is usnea so these are the names of the lichens ecological importance of lichens is more because uh, these are the pioneers of vegetative uh, parts vegetation in lithosphere because uh, succession of rocky surface so you can see the foliage lichens fruticose lichens and uh, and you can see moss all these things and the lichens will initiate the biological weathering of rocks by forming acids like carbonic acid and oxalic acid so biological weathering of rocks leads to formation of soil which helps in pedogenesis so lichens are farmer of nature and you can uh, there will be a fodder also cladonia which is we otherwise call it as tundra region which is reindeer moss we call it as they are adapted for lower temperature lichen as a source of dye litmus paper it is nothing but uh, lichen so litmus nothing but uh, rochella lichen and lasalia and these are the litmus paper we use it for litmus paper lichens are the source of medicine as well usnic acid is important broad spectrum antibiotic it is obtained from usnea and cladonia and it is very sensitive to air pollution particularly carbon sulfur dioxide and diet higher level of sulfur dioxide if you have found uh, lichens you cannot found in industrial areas where the atmosphere is more polluted in, because of smoke in actually in urban areas you can't find the lichens because um, more so2 will be developed and in industries as well so lichens are the best bio, biological indicators for air pollution so best biological indicators of air pollution so these are some of the very important points of lichens thank you very much